Hi, Internet viewers. This is Frank Rauscher again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to uh, work on the Cardinal as far as we got the beak out on the last uh, video. And what we have now is the cheek area. This is what I call the cheek area and the eye. And what we want to do is uh, bring the cheek out and put the eye in and an eye channel and so on. The eye channel uh, will be coming back through here. I'm going to mark it uh, when I move the camera down so that you could see it much clearer and uh, hope you've been following through on the videos and getting something out of it. So we will continue on if you give me a second. All right, back again. Uh, uh, like I said before, uh, we're going to put the cheek in and, and the eyes. And the first thing I want to do is we have this center line coming up. And if you look down on the eyes, we sort of drew a line coming up over and down just to make sure that they're all lined up. I'm going to ask you to come just behind that line. And what I'm gonna do is put my inch mark on the center line and come out 5 sixteenths to the right and 5 sixteenths to the left. And that should take me right there. And this is the other side. That should take me right to there. Now, what I'm going to draw is this right in here, which is, uh, it's sort of like the flat part of the head, even though it's rounded over. Uh, I'm going to come in uh, about an eighth of an inch on either side where the beak comes into the head. So an eighth of an inch out this way, an eighth of an inch out that way. I'm going to start drawing this onto here. And we're going to shoot right for the top at where this point comes in. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to start from here. arc this up to there and then arc this all the way around to the top. And what I want to do is the exact same thing on the other side. Let me just check myself out here so I did get the, yeah, 5 sixteenths out. Okay, I'm going to come from here, spin this up as an arc. Come around and hit that point. Now, that will give me what this upper portion of the eye wants the neck into here. And uh, I'll show you that as we go along. But what we're going to concern ourselves with today on this video is getting the eye in and the cheek in and also this is something i wanted to cover too also uh, we have a beak line that we've been referencing everything off of i'm going to make a parallel line to that beak line which is going through here and i'm going to draw another one that's where the eye center line is coming back and I'm going to do that on both sides because that is going to be come the eye channel and when we get done we're going to have a dished in area where the channel goes right through here okay and that'll thin out the head even more so and uh, I'll give you some more dimensions that tell you how far in you got to go and everything else here but for starters uh, just to give you an idea uh, 
the eyes, when you look down here, are 5 sixteenths in, which is right where we are here on this width. So this eye, in a sense, is going to be back here somewhere when we get done in the same way here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to get a ball. And what I use for that is I'm going to use, uh, it's a ruby ball that I use and it's like a burnisher more than anything else. It's, uh, let me get this bit right here. This is a, a, a ruby impregnated ball on, on, on the end here, and it's been used so many times, it's lost its grit, but I'm going to burn my way in by putting, putting it into uh, the machine here, ram grinder, and I'm gonna slide this in, and I'm gonna turn this on. And what I want to do, this line of action going through here, I want to make sure that I'm still staying with that line. So I'm coming in, lining this up, and then I'm just doing this. I'm pressing in, but I don't want to, uh, I'd like to back out now and then, just to, it tends to smoke up and I've got to go in there a little bit so I don't lose this when we grind that channel through. So I know I got to go from a distance of here to at least where that line is and maybe a little further. So I'm going to try to hold that line as best I can as far as drilling it in. I'm going to go a little bit more. And I don't do this all in one press in. So we'll get that in there. Now, as we're grinding, if we start seeing that disappear, I will go back in and redo it again. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. We have that line of action that's coming down. Let me draw that, which is this line right here coming over. So I wanna draw uh, I mean, drill right into that as if I'm following that line when I go in. Now the robin takes the five millimeter eye and I'm using a four millimeter ball. I believe that's what this ruby is. And what I'm doing is leaving room, so, <coughs> excuse me, so I could fit uh, the glass eye and open it up a little bit more when we get to that point. Now that we have this established through here, uh, I'm going to show you how to undercut the cheek area. We're going to come around right on, well, first we'll put the channel, the eye channel in, which is really gonna do this. It's coming straight back, but when it comes in here, it's gonna arc just a little bit towards, it's almost straight back, I shouldn't say, it's, it's, it's straight back towards the beak, as well as this way too. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm going to use, a ruby pear. This is a, a pear-shaped ruby bit, and uh, they come in different grits, but this is a, a, I guess what they call coarse, but it ain't like super coarse, and, and it does a nice job, and I do a lot of my shaping with this bit here. It's uh, one of my favorites. So, here we go. I'm going to lay this bit on here. I don't want to go 
into the beat, but I'm going to come right up to that. I'm putting my bit right on that line so I can follow it through, and I'm driving it back like this. Okay. And remember, as we look down here on this, I want to be able to get that eye corner touching that line. So that is going to be my limit as I look down through there. And I'm trying to go, as your material gets fatter back here, you're, you're coming in on this to... So you want to get it straight back. So I'm at a point where I'm pretty close. And you can see I'm starting to go out around with the eye of the of the cardinal. So I'm going to uh, go back and I'll put that back in again. I'll drill that out. But I want you to see I came up to reducing some of the thickness where we undercut uh, the beak and where the eye channel is coming up to meet it. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a lip there. And then I'm going on to the other side and doing the exact same thing. So I'm going to lay that bit right on the line. Follow it back. And you don't have to do this all one pass. You, you can just go back and forth. Let the, let the bit do the work, but don't press so hard. Okay. I think we got that pretty good there. Let's see. I'm going to look down the front of this and see where that eye channel is in relationship to if I transferred that line down. We're getting close. But what I gotta watch is there's more material over on this side. So I gotta make sure on the back end of the eye I'm coming in as well. So that when you look straight down in there, you can see that going straight through on both sides. Okay. Well, I think we're pretty close. A lot of times I try not to get right on the money so that it leaves a little bit of play. <clears throat> but uh, I uh, like to just leave myself a little extra material so I'm not right on the money uh, the first time out, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is come around here and draw, go right back into that valley that we created. And this is it right here. I want to put that in so you know where it's at. And I'm also going to do it on this side. Um, now I have exactly what, what that cheek outline is. Okay. Now, I want to show you on uh, the cheek. I'm going to start undercutting around the cheek. This was right on the line up here. But when we start undercutting the cheek... I want to go behind the line, and then as I come up to the beak, we will undercut it, but we will be shallow. You get shallow here, we're going to be sticking out pretty good here. So let me show you that as the next step here. Okay, here we are. I'm going to come behind the line. Undercutting. 
I'm leaving the line, okay? As I get up towards the beak, I don't want to be as deep. I'm going to come in and lower that lip that we created where the beak was undercut and that C area was too. I'm going to come up into there. I'm going to take that down about half the thickness we had there. But when we come back into this area, we need to get that in pretty good. And what other, one other dimension that I should have given you before we got rolling here was that the area on the cheek, I don't know if you see this that well or not. I'm trying to bring us into the picture here. This frontal view of the head is telling me that 9 sixteenths out and 9 sixteenths out is the boundary of where the cheek should be to the center. So if I measure that right now, and I'm going to go from the center line of the head to what I have there right now, I'm measuring about, uh, on this side anyway, uh, about five eighths or uh, 10 sixteenths. And on this side, I'm going to measure it again, the nine sixteenths and put a line because I happen to have more material over here. This cheek here has to move back to here. So we have a lot more material on this side. We're gonna get there a lot quicker on this side. But let me work this area first and then we'll come back and get the other one. So here we go. I wanna mark this up so you can see it clearly. Here's where the pencil line is. I didn't get rid of it. It's right on the edge. I'm centered up here so you can see it well. Okay, now we, we our channel edge, one of them is there, and then we have this other one coming around here. All of this, I wanna blend back into the body here, making a nice transition when I come out. So it looks like it doesn't have a big bump but just flows out at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna come in here. I'm blending this back into what would be the body here. Okay. And I'm not making a, a bigger cutting there, I'm just blending that channel edge all the way around so it so it blends back into the body and I know eventually, I gotta get to the center line here so this has to come in a little bit more. And I'm going to undercut this just a little bit more on the back end here. And then blend all that back. So, this is what we have. All of that remnant of that channel edge should have blended back into the whole body area here. So all of this should be smoothed out. So what you have is an edge running up and around here on that side, and you can still see the pencil line, okay? And I'm gonna clean this out as it turned in there. Okay, and a lot of times we're not going to get this on the initial pass, but we're going to 
maybe revisit it again just to make sure our numbers are on when we finalize this, okay? So what we have now is the cheek is popping out. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but we're stepped up in the cheek areas in here. So what I want to develop now in this cheek area is I want this as a high spot here and then everything from behind the eye is going to start sliding in towards this lip here without taking the lip away from where the beak is and the feathers for the head meet up here. Uh, so I'm going to take about a a 30 degree chamfer all the way around until I reach that line and starts disappearing. And I'm gonna keep on doing that and coming all the way around to here. So let me show you how I do that. Okay. Let me get that out a little bit more right there. Now, I'm going to come in on a chamfer on that edge and what we're working on. Even though I have a pencil line down there, we have that upper edge. We're going to soften that now. We're going to roll it so it has a rollover from one side to the other, same way, all the way up. But it's going to get shallower as it goes this way, and it's going to be... Uh, the high point back here. So here we go. So I first start with the chamfer. And to know if I'm down there, that pencil line down at the bottom starts fading. So then I know I'm low enough that I'm rounding that edge. Then I'm coming around here, and I'm getting shallower as I come up. And what you end up with is sort of like an edge, which is floating right through here. You've taken that chamfer all the way around, all the way around. Now, I'm feeling a little bit of a step in here yet, right along here. So I'm, I still have to go down further here on this. So, and that's something you'll adjust as you go. Now, I have a nice transition. It comes from what was the valley there up and over. And now we have it a nice rollover all the way through from the eye channel over to the edge here. Now, the key is, I said to you that from the back of the eye, to the beak edge, it's sloping. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna taper that down. And so you guys can see it, here's that cheek. I'm just gonna enhance it with a pencil. So I'm staying within this area and bring the material sloping this way. And I'm trying to make it smooth it out as I do it. This bit is uh, nice enough to be able to grind that away and leave a nice smooth finish when you get done here. So, I'm getting that. And then I see back here, I may need a little bit more. Now, I've done it on that side. And what I wanna check is, remember I'm saying from the center out to that cheek, I had here as 9 sixteenths. So that's what I wanna to try to achieve here. I wanna get, make sure. So I get my ruler and I stick an inch mark there and then look down the barrel and guess what um still a little fat back here so what that means is um 
still have to take material off in the back here and uh, need to take this down more. So I'm going to undercut on the outside here and uh, I may take a little bit off on the back on the channel here and then work this away and some more down here. Just a little bit more. I'll do the exact same process, except I'm not going through the eye channel. I'm just working off the back edge. So I'm going to come from here. I'm going to undercut this one more time, leaving the pencil line there. As I come up, you put that in so you can see it. That's the pencil line. I leave that. So, I'm going to undercut right on here. This is a big area right here to get it down. Now, once I get that undercut, I blend things back because you don't want to leave a remnant for this edge. This wants to go away. And when you get done, the cheek where the pencil line comes down, it comes right up, I should say, up to that pencil line, and then it flows out from there. So I need to round that off in there. And if I see an edge, which I do right here, I still did not get rid of all of that channel edge that I had. Now, when I do this, you can notice I'm blending things back and I'm not as aggressive out here as, as I am back here. Okay? And then the eye channel, I'm gonna push that again straight back and blend that away too. Okay. And what it does is it makes this cheek stick out more in the back. So I'm going to come in with the pencil all the way around. I'm going to, uh, I think I need to take a little bit more up front here too, which I didn't get enough of the first time. So I'm going to go on that 30 degree chamfer down to the pencil line. And if you notice, I'm coming across what would be the high point of this back end of the cheek here. So I'm trying to roll that over and I'm going to come all the way around where that's tapering down. So this becomes the high spot, even though we're lowering it, and then it transitions up. Now, I still think I have more material than I need right in here. It's getting pretty close. Then I'm gonna come back here and sort of smooth that out. Remember, I was trying to take this down. This wasn't quite 9 16 from the center out to what would be the high spot here. So that's what I'm trying to achieve now. So I will check it out one more time. And... I get my inch mark there, and I look down there, and guess what? I'm right on right now. So this is where I want to be. I got my cheek out. I have the material blended away. And now what I want to do on this side, I want to roll all of this up to this line. I want to round it and take it down first. So I'm going to come in 